So just jumping right on in, I already have my brows um, done. I pretty much have been using the same products for months and months and months now, which is just the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Brunette, just a brown, um, like a cool tone brown powder. And then I use this Maybelline Brow Precise. It's like a fiber volumizer and it's just coats my hairs, kind of sets them in place. So that's all I've done. And then of course, clean them up with concealer. And I just figured, you know, we'd save a lot of time. Um, so let's just jump right on into the eyes first since we're going heavy, heavy duty today with them eyeshadow. So of course, just taking my concealer just to prime the eyes and just give myself a nice base. So my eyeshadows come out super pigmented and they stay put and believe me, you need this step if you're gonna work with eyeshadows. And concealer for me works just as well as eye primers. What is that, eyeshadow primers? I mean, I don't even know what that is because concealers do the job for me. Okay, I'm gonna drag some down here as well so that um we're going to just do the whole eye look the bottom lash line everything together let's finish that off with a beauty blender i always say beauty blender it's a real technique sponge okay beauty blender is too expensive for me hmm <laughs> i guess that's what i get for complaining happen again i have to powder my eyes right away because as you could already tell it's already creasing. Yay. Yay me. Grabbing some translucent powder, some Laura Mercier translucent powder, and just setting that. So excited for this eye look because I just got my Juvia's Place eyeshadow palettes. Now, I know that these things been out already, but I... You know, it took a little while, I guess, for me to just kind of come around to it. But, I mean, I do not have colors like these in my collection, like, whatsoever. I mean, I was looking kind of the other day, and the majority of what I have is mostly, like, neutral, brown, earthy tones. I know, typical, right? We all do. I was kind of looking for something that was more into the inexpensive side, and of course pigmented, of course blendable, of course everything in between. So this like kind of suited everything from being super inexpensive to being beautiful formula. Be I mean like look at this gold. I mean I don't even have to press in there. I don't even have to press. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah. It's going with this orange. Yeah, we're definitely doing a fall look for sure so let's go ahead and just with a morphe e22 brush let's go ahead and sweep and instead of another thing that i kind of started doing differently is i kind of used to start over here and then it would kind of be too much over here like too much so what i started doing is kind of focusing first on the center but you know in the center area and then from there, brushing from corner to corner. And I've noticed that it's, it's definitely, I've seen a big difference in my eyeshadows when I do it that way. Because I, if anything, I want the majority of the pigmented to kind of be right here. I want it to be super pigmented here and then kind of like fading out from both sides instead of being super pigmented on the outer edge and working way in. I mean, it really just depends. I feel on that eye look on that day, but that's kind of what's been working for me lately. And as I get up here, I'm like barely, barely touching there just to feather it out to give us a nice blend. And while I'm here, I'm just going to take that right on under as well. So I know that this is going to look really messy right now, but guys have been watching me at all my looks kind of always start off messy and then somehow they just come together I just feel like that's the easiest way because I mean I can obviously do the skin first and do the eyeshadows but I just have to be way more careful and it takes longer and you know and sometimes I even experience the fallout and then here could kind of look a little bit could kind of look a little you know, messy and it just looks like stuff have, has fallen. So 
I just like to do the eyes first if I'm going to be doing a, you know, crazy eyeshadow look. And, you know, just do the skin after. It saves time, aggravation. And that's just how I like to do things. Because I happen to have, like, super small eyes. I feel like when I have a super smoked out lower lash line that it just... My, it makes my eyes look a lot bigger. Okay, so I'm just grabbing a Morphe R42, just a really flat packing brush. And of course, taking this guy here, which is Sokoto. We're just going to pack that all over the lid. I'm grabbing that same color right here, Sokoto. Sokoto. And with this flat brush, again, this is the R42. I am just running that really close, Ooh, too close, too close to my lash line. Okay, please don't water. Looks like somebody sprinkled hot Cheetos all over my eyes, don't they? And just make sure again that it's super blend. You see, this is why we didn't go in with skin first. Imagine that. Hmm? Okay, so what I'm doing is mixing the black from this palette with the brown. Since it's brown, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but... It's really not showing up the way I want it to and the black is just too black so I'm just mixing those guys right now and just deepening the outer corner with that and then just go back with the fluffy brush and just kind of go over it and just diffuse that line and the color too because honestly I really didn't want it that that dark Now this part I'm really trying to be careful with because it could get real messy real quick. So definitely going in with a little bit at a time and then we could go ahead and build it up from there. But I'm going to mimic, try to mimic what I did on the top to the bottom. I'm getting a little nervous now because this is not really turning out the way I envisioned, but I don't want to give up. So we're just going to really try to fix this. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, no. I'm worried you guys are worried about the messiness, but don't be. Don't be worried about the messiness. All right, so let's just, for one last time, blend out these edges. I mean, this black is black. Like, damn. This is gonna be good, guys. I have faith. I have faith. Okay, so I'm just kind of really dragging that out just to diffuse all the colors together. And of course, I really am not caring what happens out here because, you know, we're just going to clean it up with a makeup wipe. I'm using the ColourPop. This is a cream gel liner in Honey Dude, I believe. And I'm just using that to kind of get some color in there so it could clean this up. And let's just use this brush here to drag it down. Okay, so now before I go ahead and clean up my eye, we're going to add some glitter because you already know that's going to fall everywhere. So the color I'm, the glitter I'm using today, it's a beautiful, has a nice shift to it. It's called Black Copper Mine and this is from BulkGlitters.com. Wait till you guys see how beautiful this is. I did use this glitter on a Halloween look that I did last year. It was one of my glitter clown um, I didn't do a tutorial on it, but I do have Instagram pictures on it. And I feel like this is so fitting for this eyeshadow look. So we have to use it. And I can't wait till you guys see it. So with some of this clear eyelash glue, I'm going to pop it onto the center. That's too much glue. And I do not want to close my eye for this for right now until it dries because I have such hooded eyes and... It's not going to be good. But I definitely want you to see it. So you see that? You see what starts happening there? Okay, so I'm going to take that 
all the way up. Take some of this beautiful glitter. You guys see how beautiful. Okay, I still don't want to close my eyes just yet. Oh, my eyelashes are sticking. Now, do you see that? There are shifts of green, obviously orange and black. It's beautiful. So, let's go ahead and do the same thing to the other eye. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing to the lower lash line, just into the center. Okay, so now time has come. Clean all this up. Okay, so lastly now, I'm going to be taking this beautiful gold color. And I'm just going to add some of this guy on top. Let's see if that, oh yeah. So this is from Sleek Makeup and this is the Soltise. Pretty sure everyone either has it or knows about it because it's amazing. Okay, so now we can go in with our skin products. So at first I wanna moisturize the skin and I'm going in with my Neutrogena and this is the Hydro Boost Gel Cream and this is for extra dry skin which I definitely have and what I love about this is and not only it's like thick but in a good way but it really does absorb so quickly into the skin so quickly for primer I'm going in with my oldie right here the Smashbox photo finish primer and of course let's hit these pores up and that nose Okay, so for foundation today, I want to go super full coverage. So, I happened to get my hands on one of these. Now, I did not buy this myself. My cousin actually gave this to me. But, as we see here, you're going to see why in a second why she gave this to me. <laughs> yeah, it's like white. White, white, white. Like, oh, that's not... Stop it. Stop oozing out. Yeah, so, but that's fine because I have a super dark foundation, like, hello, extra dark. So this is the Matte and Poreless, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, and this is in Rich Tan, which we all know I am not, but I love to have darker foundations in case, like, these, things like this come out. So, I'm going to pour some of that. That uh, should be good enough, right? So... Maybe a little bit more because that color is light. I think that's still too white. Mm, that's still too white. Is it because the beauty blender picked it up? Why do I keep saying beauty blender? Alright, let's see how this is. Oof. Why is it so sticky though? It went on full, but now that I'm like patting it out, I'm starting to see if some of my redness show through. I don't know what's happening here. Let me go in with some of that rich tan. Let's go in with some concealer. And this is again another Maybelline Fit Me. This is in sand. And I'm going to use this to kind of get real up close here. Okay, so now I basically just concealed my whole face, didn't I? So going back in there, let me use this side. And I know it looks crazy harsh right now, but we're going to go back in with some of the eyeshadow and kind of disperse it a little bit better. It just got way too messy, way, way, way too messy. So taking that Laura Mercy A powder, let's go ahead and set that. 
I'm going to grab the Sokoto color, really take off that excess, and let's go ahead real lightly, like real lightly, start off in the center here towards the other corner right there. Could even bring it up a little bit that way, and as you see, it's taking away that harsh line. So this is also a gel liner from Juvia's Place, and I'm just taking an angled brush. Just take this in my waterline as well. Alright, that was pretty much a struggle, but I was able to finish off with some NYX Mac Mac. I can't talk. I was able to finish that off with some of the NYX liquid liner. So we just got, you know, those inner corners going. Alright, so far I'm really loving this crazy look. I mean, I didn't think I was going to get this crazy, but yeah, it did. It did real fast. So first going in with my R2 brush from Morphe and this sleek, oof, oof, sleek contour powder. My skin feels so weird. I kind of just, I used the Nair face cream, like the hair removal. So it just feels so weird. Like it's so smooth and it's just like, it feels weird. I haven't done it in a little bit. So I kind of like forgot the feeling of it, I guess. Okay, so now let's contour this nose and I'm going in with the same powder. This time I'm going in with one of these guys and this is a Sonia Kashuk brush. And let's go ahead and dust that off. And I really love this brush because as you see, I kind of just does the line there for you. You kind of just got to wiggle that around a bit going to take the same powder just with this brush actually let's go into the Anastasia contour kit this is light to medium and of course we're gonna take this center shade which is the coolest tone and I'm going to just carve out the cheeks with that okay for blush I'm gonna go into one of my favorite blush, honestly, my blush formulas is from Milani, and I know I'm not the only one. This is in Coralina. Just take some, and I like to first just kind of do it on the apple, and then sweep it back with the contour. And as you can see, I just dipped in there one time. And I did both th both sides. That's why I love it. Go in with this guy. Let's let's do both of those. Okay. Forgot to wet my brush. It's like I have a love hate relationship with highlight because I love obviously the dimension that it brings to the face. I just hate how it exaggerates your pores and your texture and everything can we have a highlight that does not do that please like i don't know i have not came across a highlight that does not exaggerate the pores so let me go ahead and quickly throw on some mascara which is i'm using this young blood outrageous lash mineral lengthening mascara and i've actually been loving this to be honest so just a light coat because you know I am putting on lashes. I just want to make sure my lashes are black so that they blend nicely. Okay, perfect. Now, while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to go ahead and move on to the lips. And of course, we have to we just have to go neutral. We just really do. There's way too much going on to this eye to try to compete with the lips. So, I'm first going to go in with my NYX Liquid Suede. And this is in the color Sandstorm, which is like the perfect cool tone brown. So 
So I'm going to go in with Milani's Matte Innocence right onto that center. Okay. And lastly, because we're, you know, we're glowing everywhere, so we got to glow everywhere. I'm going to use this Jouer Lip Topper in Skinny Dip. I love the scent to this. And I'm just going onto the center. I'm not going to go all over the lips. We're going to go in on some lashes. And I'm using these Ordell. Ordell. <sighs> Let's just keep it rolling, huh? So I'm going in with these Ardell Faux Mink Lashes. And this is in the style 118. One, no. Yes. No. 811. So oh, these are these guys in 811. There we go. Okay, so lastly, now we got the makeup. Oh. We got the makeup fully done. So lastly, let's just, just worry about this hair. Let me zoom out a little bit. Okay, so I've been seeing this wet hair look going around. So I figured let's give it a try. So the products I'm going to use today is, I'm going to use this Matrix. This is the Mineral Airy Builder. It's a dry texturizing foam, which I thought would be perfect for this. It's not a mousse, but it does come out as a... Okay. I just went everywhere. Okay, take two. Not a mousse, so it's not going to have that crunch. But it is going to give me a lot of texture and kind of keep that wet look going on. So if you're looking for something that's going to give you kind of the same kind of feel, but you don't want to use gel or hairspray, something like this is a really good option. So I just kind of put it in there and just scrunch upwards, kind of take that hair and scrunch up. And then to that, another Matrix product. This, I love this product, by the way. And this is the Smoothing Milk, Smoothing Shine Milk. And this is just going to give us extra shine. It's going to make our hair silky. And I always, from coming out the shower, I always put about like five or six different products in at a time. That's just the way I like to do things. And, yep. And then lastly, this is just a really good leave-in treatment. It is from Purology. This is the color Fanatic. So this has a lot of good benefits in it. And, you know, it's just going to keep your hair nice and nourished and conditioned. It's a really good leave-in spray. Okay. And if you're feeling really extra like me, I've just been in love with Matrix lately. So this is their three butter control. This is the overnight mask. Okay, so this is the overnight mask. And what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of that. Don't need that much. It literally makes your hair feel like butter. And it keeps it so nice and soft. And it weighs down that frizz. I rarely get any. I have pretty frizzy hair. And when I put this stuff into my hair, that frizz is like, where'd you go? Magically gone. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Again, I'm doing like these kind of scrunching techniques there. And that's just to kind of give my hair that texture. I mean, we did put that texturizer, texturizing foam in there. So I definitely want to keep my hair really nicely textured and yep yeah. that's pretty much it of course it's not going to stay this wet it is going to dry up but it's going to have that nice it's going to set a little bit but it's still it's not going to look frizzy it's going to look really shiny you're going to have a lot of texture in there all right guys so here is the finished look i want to thank you guys so much for watching this get ready with me the full glam hair and makeup and of course if you liked it don't forget to hit that like button if you're not subscribed don't forget to subscribe because you guys know you want to see my future videos and till next time i'll see you guys soon